to wait for it. The only show on television where being quick to answer doesn't make you a winner. Here on the intergalactic time capsule, the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. We'll be testing the nerves of our contestants and seeing if they've got the skills to avoid our tank of goo. Each question is 15 seconds long, and we've got an infinite number of clues stored in the total intelligence mechanism, or as we like to call him, Tim. And we're in luck today, as he has a joke for us, don't you, Tim? What's orange and slimy and goes, oh, help, I'm all orange and slimy? I don't know. What's orange and slimy and goes, oh, help, I'm all orange and slimy? Today's contestants, after I've dropped them in the gun. <laughs> oh, dear, Tim. Wow. Super intelligent and funny. How am I still single? I don't know, Tim. I really don't. With four rounds and some tip-top prizes to be won, let's get cracking. It's time to see who's playing today. <laughs> Today's team are from Manchester, and our first contestant is Carol Ann. Hello. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. You look very calm and collected. How are you feeling about that down there? It looks horrible. That's yeah. all I can say. It looks absolutely horrible. On Wait For It today, Carol Ann, who's your biggest competition? I would say Peter. Ah, uh, why is that? Because he knows nearly everything. Is yes. that right? Yes. It's not just him, then. All right, let's go and meet Peter. Nice to meet you, Carol Ann. Hiya, Peter. Hello. Carol Ann says you know everything about everything. <laughs> not really. You don't know <laughs> everything about everything. I'm quite rubbish at sports. What's your strongest subject? Um, probably maths. OK. Who are you worried about? Um, probably Jake right now. Jake? Why's that? Jake is very bright and right. he's one of my main enemies at school. Yeah. Friendly enemies. Oh, OK. You're competitive, that's what yes. you mean. All right. Well, Peter, really nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to meet uh, our third contestant. It's Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You've got you. great hair, great curly hair. Mm, yeah. I love it. It'd be a shame if you go in the goo portal with that lovely hair. It looks very disgusting. It looks like brains. I know. Well, Peter and Jake, I'm learning, people are concerned about. They're the brains on the team. What do you think about that? Well, I agree with Carol and that Peter's the competition as well. OK. Um, and Jake's quite clever, so... It's all about waiting, though. It's not necessarily getting the questions right. It's about waiting and bagging the most points. I think you'd be good at that? Yeah, I think I'm quite clever as well. I don't doubt it, Hannah. So... <laughs> Well, it's lovely to meet you. Best of luck, all right? Hey, thank you. Our fourth contestant is Jake. Hello, Jake. Hello. How's it going? Very good. Good, good. I love this T-shirt. You get kind of the braces, like, printed on the, on the yeah, shirt. That's really exactly cool. Right. And at the back as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Very fashionable. Is there anyone you're worried about today on the team? Peter. He's a smart guy, is he? Yep. All right, well, really nice to meet you. Best yeah. of luck, all you guys. Let's get cracking. It's time for round number one. Now, every question has a series of clues that is 15 seconds long. Now, the question starts at the same time. in this round and you've each got three lives remember you have to listen carefully to the clues and when you think you know the answer wait for it okay guys round one question one remember listen carefully let's have it Tim please I'm a musical my lead character falls out with his 11 brothers who are jealous of his multicolored coat his talent for understanding dreams leads him to make friends with the Pharaoh of Egypt I feature the song Any Dream. Caroline. Joseph. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> that was really good waiting by the team. We got to uh, 12 seconds there. That means you get 12 points, Caroline. Well done. Second question, please, Tim. I'm the largest organ of the human body. My roles include preventing damage to your internal organs and providing you with a sense of touch. In some people, I'm very dark and in others, I'm very light. As people get older, I can... Peter. Skin. Skin, it's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Did you know that quite early on, Peter? Yes. Yeah? Like organ skin. 
Uh, you, you got it. So you got it off one of the really early clues. Yes. But you waited to get more points. Mm -hmm. Good gameplay. Excellent. Okay. Question three, Tim, please. I'm a popular pet. I come in all shapes and sizes. Some are tiny enough for celebrities to carry in their handbags, and others are almost big enough to ride on. I'm man's best friend, helping the plea. Peter. Dog. Dog. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Ten points. Okay. Question number four, please, Tim. I'm a word with more than one meaning. I can mean someone with blonde or pale coloured hair and skin. I can also mean another name for a fate held at your school. I could be someone who treats everyone equally and kindly. Or I could be a word used to describe a day with nice weather. Ooh, ran out of time there. Nobody buzzed in. The answer we were looking for was fair. Not to worry. The next question is five. Tim, can we hear it, please? I'm a famous lady. I was called the lady with a lamp. I was a nurse who worked tirelessly to clean up hospitals for the soldiers, and I opened the first nursing school. The... Carolan, a decisive buzz there. Florence Nightingale. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Just beat you to it there, didn't you, Peter? You knew the answer as well. Yeah. This next question is question six. Can we hear it, Tim, please? I'm a very powerful wind, but at the centre of me, everything is very calm. I often start over the ocean, but I can destroy buildings when I come on shore. I'm measured on the Beaufort scale. Jake. Tornado. It's the wrong answer, Jake, unfortunately. Uh, you buzzed in at 10 seconds. That means everyone else gets 10 points. The answer we were looking for was hurricane. It was close. It was very close, I know. Never mind. OK, question seven, please, Tim. I'm an animal. I'm not pretty. I'm really ugly. I live in ponds. I inspired a character in The Wind in the Willows, a silly creature who likes to drive fast machines. Jake. Toad. Toad. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Jake's got 11 points. Nicely played. OK. This next question is question eight. I'm a musical activity that only a few people can do really well. You can do it on your own or with others. Some have become famous for doing this. People like Leona Lewis, Lady Gaga... <laughs> Jake. Singing. It's the right answer. Well done, Jake. <laughs> you just beat you to it there, didn't you, Hannah? You knew that one. Never mind. All right, Jake, you got yourself 11 points. Well done. Two more questions left. Jake just used up his last life. So, Jake, you're frozen out for the rest of the round, OK? Here comes question number nine. I'm a word that begins with C that can mean more than one thing. I can be a very dry wafer or biscuit that you might have with cheese. Or I could be something you put... <laughs> Hannah. Cracker. Cracker. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> what a cracker. There we go. Ten points to you, Hannah. Well played. OK, this is the last question in the round. Question number ten, please, Tim. I'm a popular game for two players. I'm usually played with a pen and paper, but can also be played electronically. I'm played by filling in a grid with X's and naught. <laughs> Peter. Noughts and crosses. Noughts and crosses. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Nine points for Peter. And that brings us to the end of round number one. Who waited the longest? Who picked up the most points? It's time to find out. Players, leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone. OK, Tim has been keeping score. So I can reveal that the first person safe, definitely going through to round number two, is... Peter! Well played, Peter. Just stay where you are. OK. The second person safe, and joining Peter in round number two, is... Caroline! Well done. OK, that just leaves you, Hannah, and you, Jake. Unfortunately, we have to say bye-bye to one of you. And I can now reveal that the person entering the goo portal is... Hannah! Sorry, Hannah, we've got to say goodbye to you. Sorry to see you go. I like those pigtails. Bye. See you later. Bye. 
So, Jake, that was a bit of a close one. Yep. What was it like out there on the end? Oh, it was really scary because I thought I was going to go in. All right, Jake, well, best of luck on round number two. This one's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but we do use the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get the question right. Now, I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you need on that particular subject. You won't hear the clues at that point, you'll just hear this ticking sound. Now, you can stop our clock at any time, and if you stop it, say, at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue. If you get it right, you'll bag yourself eight points. There are six questions in this round, and you each have three lives again. Let's wait for it. Question one, the category is mythical creatures. Remember, you're going to hear the clock first. So, Tim, let's have it, please. Remember to keep an eye on one another. The longer you wait, the more points you'll get. Oh, Peter came in at nine seconds. Peter, we're going to play you nine seconds worth of clue, and then I'll ask you for your answer. Yeah. All right, Peter, here they come. I'm a mythological creature who lives in the sea. At first glance, I look like a normal person, but my bottom half is a fish. Princess Ariel is an animated example of... Peter, what's the answer? Mermaid. Mermaid, it's correct. Well played. <laughs> good work. Peter's got himself nine points. Good start. Our second category is objects. Tim, start the clock. <laughs> oh, Caroline, you stop the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear your clues. I'm a useful everyday object, usually made of wood or plastic. I have two interlocking prongs with a small spring wedged in between them. Ooh, it's not long. Do you know the answer, Caroline? No. Do you want to give it a guess? Is it a bad? It's a really good guess, but it's the wrong answer, Caroline. Never mind. All right, fellas, we're going to restart the clues, give you a chance to swipe some points. So, Tim, let's replay the clues, please. I'm used to hang out the washing in the back garden. Peter. Um, a washing peg. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> well swiped. Our third category is general knowledge. Tim, start the clock. <laughs> Jake, in at ten seconds, here come your clues. I'm something that everyone does at least once a day for a few hours. You do this when you're tired, but babies do it all the time. Short versions of me are sometimes called... Jake looks confident. Jake, what's your answer? Sleeping. It's the right answer. Well done, Jake. <laughs> the next category on question number four is books. Who are the good readers? Let's find out. Start the clock, Tim, please. Good watching of one another. <coughs> oh, Peter just in first. Just snuck in before you, Caroline, didn't he? All right, Peter, you stop the clock at 10 seconds. Let's hear your clues. I'm a book your school library's bound to have. You may also have one at home and in the car if it hasn't got sat nav. I contain maps of places, sometimes the whole world. Peter, do you know the answer? Atlas. Atlas. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> got yourself ten points there, Peter. You just used up your last life, so you're frozen out of the remainder of this round. The fifth category is objects. Let's start the clock. Remember to watch one another. I'm going to pick up maximum points here. <coughs> Jake, you stopped the clock at nine seconds. Let's hear those clues. I'm something you don't use all the time, but I'm very handy, especially when you have to travel or go on holiday. I'm usually packed with all sorts of things, from pants and socks... Jake, what's your answer? Suitcase. Suitcase. It's the right answer. <laughs> well done, Jake. Got yourself nine points. OK, this is the last question in the round. The category is places. Tim, can we start the clock, please? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Jake buzzed in first. Eight seconds. Here come your clues on places, Jake. I'm a very famous building in America. I was built between 1792 and 1800. But since then, east and west wings have... Do you know the answer? Empire State Building? It's a good guess, but it's the wrong answer, Jake. Carol -Ann, this is a chance for you to swipe some points. It's only you that can buzz in. Tim, let's restart the clues, please. Be added. I'm in Washington, D.C. I contain the Oval Office. I'm the home of the President of the USA. My... Ooh, in at 14 seconds. What's your answer, Caroline? The White House. The White House. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> Caroline picked up 14 points right at the end there. But is it enough? Who waited the longest in that round? There's only one way to find out. Players, please leave your pods and enter the drop zone. Okay. Tim has been keeping scores, and the first person safe is. Peter! Well done, Pete. Well played. Okay. Caroline, Jake, you've both been super. But unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to one of you. The person leaving us, about to take a dunk in the gunk, is... Caroline! Caroline, sorry to see you go, but it's the way the game goes. See you later, Caroline. There she goes! Oh! A splasher! Oh! And the doggy coming for finish. Well, Jake, you're a bit of a pro at being out on the drop zone there, aren't you? Yep. Feeling confident about the next round? Mm, medium. Okay. Maybe a bit higher than medium. But... Kind of 75%? Yeah. All right. This is round three. It's called Wait and See. It's our head-to-head -head round, and it tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to give you a question category, and you have to decide when your opponent will buzz in with their answer. There are three possible time slots. You can choose one to five seconds, six to 10 seconds, or 11 to 15 seconds. Now, of course, your opponent won't be able to see your prediction, and the points don't match the seconds this time. It's the best of five. If your prediction's right, and they answer correctly within your time slot, you get the point. If they answer correctly outside of the time slot, they get the point. So, it's now time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. Now, Peter, you waited the longest over the first two rounds, so you get to decide, would you like to predict first or answer a question first? I'll predict first. You'll predict first, OK. The category you'll be predicting on is entertainment. Now, Peter, before you make your prediction, let's just have a brief chat with Jake. Would you say that you're going to be good uh, on a question on entertainment? In some questions in entertainment, I'm probably good at, and in okay. some I'm bad at. Yeah, but there's, who, who's to say what the question's going to be, right? Yeah. All right, Peter. You seen what he's got to say. Does he sound confident to you? Maybe, maybe not. Are you ready to make a prediction? Mm -hmm. You press the button when you're ready. There we go. OK, there's Peter's prediction. We can all see that, of course. Jake can't. Here comes your question on entertainment. I am a white-tailed deer in an animated film. My best friends are a rabbit called Thumper and a skunk called Flower. When the forest that I live in is set on fire, I rescue my girlfriend, but I'm shot in the process. Thankfully, I survived. My name is the title of a Disney film. Ooh, out of time there, Jake. Out of time. The answer we were looking for was Bambi. <gasps> Not to worry. OK, because we ran out of time, nobody gets a point on that first question. Our second category is general knowledge. And, Peter, it's going to be your turn to answer, so, Jake, you'll be predicting. Could be anything, couldn't it, Peter? Mm. Um, sort of OK with general knowledge. Do you read a lot? Yes, a lot. OK, but so... But it's mostly fiction, not facts. Ah. Feel confident? Yeah. OK. Peter sounds confident, Jake. I mean, you know him a lot better than I do. Do you think he's bluffing? 
I think he's confident, but I think he was bluffing as well. OK. You ready to make a prediction? Press the button. There's your prediction, Jake. Peter can't see that. Peter, remember, you can buzz in at any time. Here come your clues. I'm a large appliance found in the home, usually in the kitchen, but some houses have a utility room or basement where I'm stored. I'm used to make clothes clean. And... Peter, what's your answer? Washing machine. Washing machine is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Jake said you'd come in between six and ten seconds. You came in with the right answer at ten. That means Jake gets the point. Well played, Jake. You read him well. Good work. OK. Our third category is things that move. Peter, you're going to be predicting. So, things that move, Jake, that could be a living thing, could be a vehicle. There's, like, lots of moving things, so I don't really know. Peter, it's a bit difficult to judge. Most of the things that move are cars, and Jake's very, very, very good with cars. Oh. So... So you think you're ready to make a prediction? Mm -hmm. OK. Press the button when you're ready. There it is. There's Peter's prediction. Jake, here come your clues. I'm a very special type of boat. If you were at the seaside, you might get quite excited if you saw me, but seeing me might mean that someone's in trouble and needs rescuing. I'm launched when there's an emergency. Oh, Jake, in at 12 seconds, what's the answer? Rescue boat. It's the right answer, Jake. But let's see the prediction. Peter, you said Jake would come in between 6 and 10. He came in with the right answer at 12. That gives Jake a point. <laughs> so, Peter, you need this next point to stay in the game. Our fourth category is food. Peter, you'll be answering the question. Jake, you're going to be predicting, but just give me a second with Peter. Are you a big eater, Peter? Not really. You do have the occasional curry and a bit of sushi. Sushi? Very fancy pants. That sounds good. So, Jake, is that enough for you to make a prediction? Mm, yeah. If you're ready, please make your prediction now. Wonderful. OK, remember, Peter, you need to pick up a point here to stay in the game. Here come your clues. I will normally be at the start of the day. In France or Germany, I might include croissants, fruit, cold meat or cheese. In the U... Peter. Breakfast. Breakfast is the right answer. In eight seconds, let's look at Jake's prediction. Again. Jake predicted you'd come in between six and ten. You came with the right answer at eight. That means Jake gets another point and Jake takes the round. <laughs> so, if Jake is the winner... Unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to you, Peter. You've been a fantastic contestant. We've really loved having you here on Wait For It. But if you wouldn't mind, could you please leave your play pod and enter the drop zone? OK, Peter, if you could put your spectacles in there for me, please. We don't want them getting gunged up. No, we don't. <laughs> Jake, is there anything you'd like to say to Peter before he goes? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Jake. You've been a great player, but you've got to go. Bye. See you later. There he goes. There's Pizza. Oh, and the doggy paddle. Well played. <laughs> Come and stand here. How are you doing? Very good. How do you feel about getting this far? I'm mm, really excited. Like, yeah? If I get across, and I'll feel proud of myself. You should feel proud of yourself. You've done very, very well. And this is a chance for you to pick up a wicked prize, all right? This is your final challenge. Now, okay. you're going to hear a series of questions. They're each ten seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. Watch right. how it's done. Here I go. Ooh! <laughs> oh, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just a little wobble there. I'm fine. There we go. See, it's easy. It's easy. Now, Jake, if you make it over in 40 seconds or more, 
you're going to be taking home one of today's star prizes, and it's really, really good, OK? Of course, we've got rules. You can only move forward when you get a question right. If you get it wrong or you pass, you have to stay where you are until you get the next one correct. Okay. There's a little bit of a twist. Even though you've got 60 seconds, you won't be able to see or hear the clock. Now, the clock's going to begin when I hear the answer to your first question. OK, best of luck, Jake. I hope you do really well. Here we go. OK, Tim, let's begin. I'm a type of toy. I'm named after Theodore Roosevelt. I'm a furry stuffed animal that you might well cuddle at night. Teddy bear. Some th That's right, move forward. I'm something doctors have. I have two earpieces that are connected to a hollow tube that is attached to a plastic disc or cup. Doctors press me against your body to listen to the sounds made inside your chest. Next question. I'm usually found in the kitchen. I have a door and I can get very hot. You might wear a special club Oven. while using me. Oven, that's right, move forward. I'm a form of energy that you can't normally see, but you're in for a shock if you accidentally Electricity. touch me. Electricity. That's right, move forward. I'm the name for a large group of musicians. Their musical instruments are divided into string, brass, no, woodwind and... That's right, move forward. I'm sticky and sometimes double-sided. I can be see-through or coloured. I can have different widths and lengths, and I'm most commonly used for rapid... That's right, move forward. I'm a sporting activity where you need courage and a head for heights. You don't wear much when you practice me. I'm over quite quickly, but you'll make a big splash. I'm done by Swimming. jumping off a special ball. Swimming? It's a wrong answer. I'm Next used question. to fight in battles, but now I usually aim at targets made from different bow coloured rings. Bow My arrow. weapon is a bow and arrow. Oh, no! Just our time! There's the klaxon! Help me out, audience! Three, two, one! See you later, Jay! Jake, give us a win. There you are. Jake's not going home empty-handed. He's going to be taking away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Give it up for Jake. <laughs> oh, that was so close. What another great game. Join us next time on Wait For It. <laughs>